had this great quote that nobody likes sitting at home talking about finance and that was in relation to the nft boom so can you sort of like give us your perspective on nfts and why i think it will be much bigger than the whole DeFi space yeah so i like to say that DeFi has brought the capital and nfts bring the people into crypto and the reason is you know as you pointed out people don't give a shit about finance broadly speaking right like normal people but they do care about entertainment music gaming arts and nfts are the best way that you can get these things into the crypto world and so i think the design space and kind of use cases for nfts is enormous and we've just scratched the surface of this i was uh two weeks ago i was in new york for for a conference and it's super clear that the cult world of culture in in new york so like arts entertainment music all that stuff is really colliding with the world of crypto through nfts you can like literally see it with the people like people going to the same parties who would never do that like a few years ago uh and, and it's super interesting seeing like crypto folks like in the same parties as like you know art collectors and, and things like that so so i think that's the main thing like nfts just they are the natural interface to a lot of these different areas that people care a lot about um so i think i think i tend to say nfts are like totally underrated although many people think we're kind of in an nft bubble and you know it's probably going to go up and down but i definitely think five ten years from now nfts are going to be way bigger than they are today couldn't agree more if we look at the crypto industry as a whole uh what do you think is some of, sort of the some of the hardest questions to answer to really understand where the industry is going forward that's a tough one i do think that there's a lot of work to be done on just the kind of business models for different protocols and so by business models i mean like tokenomics and things like that which many people were excited about in 2017 then they were very disillusioned in 2018 and 19 and then i think with defi protocols uh we sort of revived the enthusiasm but i still think there's a lot of work to be done where you figure out like how can you um sustainably uh you know grow these defi protocols these different projects in a way such that um such that the project has a high chance of success and it's around like 50 years from now that's that's like still a pretty much an open question and we don't have like a lot of standards on best practices i think the cool thing about axie infinity in in the nft space is that they actually have pioneered what looks like a, a very holistic tokenomic system where it's like you you can actually imagine games trying to replicate like with different games but using the same tokenomics principles and so i think that's pretty cool and i think you're going to have sort of these kind of best practice frameworks for different types of projects so that that's you know that's a very important part which there still needs to be innovation and experimentation maybe the other part is like how do you get decentralized projects to actually you know achieve their fullest potential because how do you avoid things like voter apathy you know where people don't really bother to do anything they can just like free ride off of you know their crypto tokens becoming more and more valuable without them doing anything uh so i think the whole like dao and decentralized governance and things like that is also totally not solved and like you need to experiment a lot more and collect experiences <laughs>